to our third edition of Inside HCISD. I am Victoria Medina. And I'm Aaliyah Threadgill. We have stories all around the district, so let's get started. The Tele Awards are given to the most creative videos that push others to be their best. Would you believe that someone from our very own district won an award? The Tele Awards have been around since 1979, honoring the best video production for local and worldwide programs. It consists of commercials, videos, films, and vocals. The award has three categories, bronze, silver, and gold. Our local HISD public relation employee, Joe DeLeon, won the first Tele Award for the district. Even the title itself kind of speaks for itself in saying that every volunteer, every teacher, every administration member, everybody that works uh, here at Harlington CISD works together to ensure that the students have a, a good learning environment so that they're moving up uh, the steps of success. And that's kind of what this is based off of, you know, showing each member that comes into work at six, five, seven in the morning, prepare to uh, teach students and uh, give them what they need to be successful in the day and in the future. Joe's inspiration to produce this video was to highlight all the people that start their day early to work on preparing students for their day and their future. Um, I was inspired to make this film from my custodian who was at my high school. Every day he would come by our table and you know if we were sad or if we were down you know it doesn't matter what was going on. He would just say hi, he would talk to us and uh, very very nice guy. He was actually the inspiration for this video and uh, I went to the campus and I talked to him and I told him that I wanted to do this and he was all for it so we went ahead and we made this video a reality. After two weeks of planning, setting up times at different locations and schools, and two months of producing, Joe DeLeon submitted his video Stepping Stones. This video won a Silver Tele Award and was an eye-opener to see firsthand what these jobs take. Uh, when they went into work every day, it was not about themselves, it was about the students and ensuring that they had a clean, safe learning environment and transportation and food to eat. And the passion, hearing the passion between these individuals was absolutely overwhelming. Um, it, it's an experience that, that I've never really experienced before, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Here's a big congratulations to Joe DeLeon and HISD for their first Tele Award. Reporting for Inside HISD, I'm Alex Ramirez. In other news, the Harlem South PTSA has earned the Head Start Award covering the story, it's Matthew Cavazos. The Harlingen High School South PTSA earned some good news this past week when they were awarded the Head Start Award. The Head Start Award signifies that the organization matched their membership last year before October 15th of this year. They are excited about the involvement of the students, parents, and teachers alike, and they are ready to start the school year with a bang. You can still join the PTSA on their Facebook page or at the campus. Reporting for Inside HCISD, I'm Matthew Cavasso. I think it's great to see the growth of PTSA program at Harlingen South and the mixed development of parents, students, and teachers. HCISD has decided to develop a student-led radio. It is an online streaming radio station for the students, by the students. It has been headed by HCISD's own Media Arts and Communication Academy. For more information on that story, here is Zimri Martinez. You're listening to KHGN. KHGN Radio. KHGN Radio, Harlingen Student-Run Station. KHGN Radio was officially launched this October 16 at Media Arts and Communications Academy. Media Arts and Communications Academy was an idea of the district classroom for students at HCISD to do senior level programs and to learn and get real experience. After one year and a half, we are here launching this radio station. KHGN Radio was founded by the Harlington Area Educational Foundation. Again, it's just uh, the modern times that we live in now, giving the kids every opportunity for every um, type of uh, career that they could want. And, and what better thing to do is to have this radio station with a former DJ who is now a teacher. Led by Mary Ann Garcia, working together with her students, they have come with new innovations and content for the radio industry with music, HEISD, news, sports, and programming. This is what Ms. Garcia said about her students. As of right now, our students are working towards getting qualified to be working on air and for any audio media industry uh, that is out there. So we're giving them a glimpse into everything. Will they be qualified? Absolutely. By the time they leave here, they will be qualified to work in the industry. 
If you are interested in the audio industry, KHEN Radio is a great opportunity for you to start your career pathway. For more information, email mary.garcia at hcisd.org or speak to your school counselor. I am Chimbro Martinez for Inside HCISD. It is awesome to see the technological changes that HCISD has been making. We are truly leading the valley in innovation. Have you heard about the amazing youth leadership program in Harlingen? Jessica Davila has more on that story. The Chamber of Commerce is a youth leadership program that helps students develop their leadership skills and gets acquainted with different community leaders in Harlingen. Youth Leadership Harlingen was established in 1994. This is my second uh, class under my direction with Youth Leadership Harlingen. I am going to become a teacher, so I thought this would be a great way for me to kind of incorporate my ideas and kind of bring a fresh new start to this Youth Leadership Harlingen program. Um, this is also a great way for the students to get to have an extra boost in their college resume and I let you know the colleges know that they're out here wanting to make a difference and there are our future generation. The tuition for the program is $150, and for outside of the school district, is $200. And your tuition covers your t-shirts, meals, and your transportation. So this is for high school students from sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So whoever is willing to you know, make a difference in their community and become a leader, this is a good opportunity for you to join Youth Leadership Harlingen. They have a new session for their community service called Lead to Feed. They make sandwich and snack bags for their local nonprofit organization who help the community at need. If you would like more information about the youth leadership, visit harlingen.com slash pages slash youth leadership. Reporting for Insight HCISD, I'm Jessica Davila. Our last story is a spotlight on the Harlingen South tennis team. They have been doing a phenomenal job so far throughout their season. With more on their season, here's Matthew Cavazos. In September, the Harlingen South tennis team played back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back district team tennis matches. On Monday, they traveled to Brownsville, Hannah, where they didn't lose a single match and won 19-0. The next day, they came back home and played in the annual Tennis Bird Bowl, where they only lost one match to their crosstown rivals, the Harlingen Cardinals. Final score, 18-1. Finally, they traveled to Brownsville Rivetta and overpowered them, winning 19-0. The Hawks did play their last district match against San Benito, winning 19-0. Congratulations to the newly crowned district champions. We hope they continue their hot streak as they move through the playoffs. Reporting for Inside HCISD, I'm Matthew Cavazos. It's so cool to see the success of the tennis team here at Harlingen South. That's pretty cool. It really is. Well, that does it for this edition of Inside HCISD. I'm Victoria Medina. And I'm Aaliyah Thedgill. Until next time, thank you for watching.